Okay, well hi guys. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review for the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask because you know a girl loves her sheet masks. Um, I also, while I was at CPS, what a shocker, picked up the Creme Collection, well part of the Creme Collection. Um, I got, let's see here, one naughty, one nice. These are their um, Christmas edition um, sheet masks right here. Change one here. This guy right here. Um, it has. It says, results delivers 24 hour long lasting hydration, helps prevent moisture loss throughout the day. I'm a little bit concerned with that. I don't really like products that um, have a moisture lock in because it like, um, here, I'll show you one. My goodie box. Ta -da! Um, it's coming down to its last legs right now. Um, this one, I am not terribly fond of this one, Mother Made um, Real Results um, Deep Moisturizing. Um, it Sometimes it's kind of like a toss up. Sometimes it'll make me like break out and like sometimes it won't make me break out. So um, I only use this when I have extremely, extremely dry skin. Um, like right now I would use this one because I, I feel like I have it extraordinarily dry skin right now and I don't think it would like um, hold in enough moisture to make me break out um, so I'm hoping <laughs> that this one doesn't make me break out like this one does um, but if, if they are similar to each other then we will see and it'd be nice if I had a dupe for this super moisturizing which is very lovely the texture and the um, sheet mask itself is a very lovely product um, but it would be nice if I could have one that I could um, use more regularly for very like uh, dry days let's get on with it going to treat this the same way I would treat any <laughs> I would treat any other um, sheet mask that I would purchase but first a word from our sponsors coffee mm. well, let's give this a try and see if it is a, a dupe for my, my moisturizing snail mask yeah Let's give it a go. Let's see. Okay. For some impression, let's smell it. Ooh, that does not smell good. <laughs> it smells so bad. Ugh, it smells like. laundry soap <laughs> oh no i'm so scared to put this on my skin and it's blue okay so i really hope that that's just like um like something to keep it from like sticking to itself okay that's what it looks like it is i do not like colors on my skin Ugh. anything colored is not good for you okay yeah. Okay, I don't like the shape. The eye holes are too small. And there's no flaps. Oh my god, I look like a zombie. Okay, I'm not used to having like a double layer sheet mask thing going on here. Let's. Let's take that off. Because this is what I'm used to. That but doesn't that look way prettier. Um, mm, mm, so much easier. Okay, I know that I look 
like a ghost. I'll see you in 15 minutes. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. I will take it off. Damn, don't waste it. Yeah. So it says I can just rub the remainder in and no need to rinse. Um, but I don't think I don't think I could put makeup on this. It's like not drying. And when it does eventually dry, it's kind of got like a um, stick to it. Like if I if I wore makeup over this and then I was like a little hot, I think it would make my makeup um, crumble. I'm not gonna rinse it, but I'm not gonna leave all of it on my face for sure. I'll give it a little bit of time. I mean, like I feel really well high, like moisturized. This is getting kind of soft. It's really nice, but we'll see. I'm gonna put a full face of makeup on it and then I'll do the final um, review for this tomorrow morning. Um, so let's see how, I'm gonna give it five minutes and then put makeup on it um, and we'll see how it sits, like how makeup sits on top of it. My nose is still so dry. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate, I hate this time of year being sick because it is miserable. Okay. Hey guys, so it is the morning of the next day after I used the Garnier 3 Chase Moisture Balm Mask and things are looking pretty promising. I mean, I have one new um, blemish, pimple, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have one new one on my forehead, but other than that, my entire face is clear. And usually, um, usually like when I use a new face mask, the first place it'll show, like if there's an actual problem with the mask itself, is going to be around my, um, on my cheeks, close to my nose, because um, the skin there is just like really sensitive for me. Um, but there is nothing! Yay! How exciting! So I'm gonna give this face mask like maybe seven and a half out of ten because I didn't like the fit of the mask. It was a little bit strange around the eyes. It felt very close because um, traditionally in my other face masks there's like a flap that comes down and you can like place it so it doesn't get too close to your um, under eyes. Um, <coughs> So, and that the smell for me was not what I wanted it to be, like what I thought it should be. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it definitely did. I felt like I was putting like a laundry softener on my face, like a sheet, laundry softener sheet on my face. Um, other than that, the amount of um, the product that was in it, it wasn't a dry product. It was a highly saturated face mask. The texture of the sheet mask itself was quite lovely. I'm like really losing my voice. <laughs> it was really quite nice. Seven and a half out of ten. Good job. Awesome. All right. Love you all. Bye bye.